The river has also been the home of another kind of insect with an equally ancient ancestry, and it too is beginning to emerge from the water. Bigger and more ferocious than the mayfly larvae, it has been feeding on tadpoles and even small fish. But that phase of its life is over. Now each one has to haul itself out of the water and into the air. On the top of its thorax, it carries a bulging backpack. It hunches itself and its outer skin splits. A very different creature begins to appear. White threads are drawn out of its flanks. They are the linings of thin tubes that penetrate deep into its body, air tubes that will enable the insect to breathe now that it is out of water. It gulps air, inflating its body, forcing fluid into the bundle on its back. Its wings begin to unfurl. Ten minutes later, the wings open. They'll never close again. Next, the huge muscles within its thorax must be exercised to prepare them for action. And it's away. <laughs> 